call this meeting to order at 3.20 p.m. First order of business is the inauguration of one of our representatives. Well, uh, Representative Holly is a uh, key. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly, uh, solemnly swear in the presence of Almighty God that I will well and faithfully support the Constitution of the United States, the laws of the United States ap applicable to Guam and, its, and the laws of Guam. And that I will conscientiously and impartially discharge my duties as a representative of the Guam Youth Congress. You may sit down. Um, welcome, Representative Izuki. <laughs> Next, may we call on our representative A. Kenga to do to lead us in prayer. May we all stand for prayer. Toast. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for bringing us here today. We ask that you guide us here and give us your wisdom as we go into session. We ask for your protection, and we ask for your, your unconditional love. We pray for the death of our fellow youth, um, Lord Jeremy Newby, who died yesterday morning and is in your arms right now. We pray for the recent death of another youth, Angel Tapasana. We ask that you comfort their family and give them strength in this dire need and or dire time in their life. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. May we ask uh, Representative Gamatauta to lead us in the Guam Hymn and the National Anthem.
Now we're going to have roll call. Representative Liana Peters, Representative Jaylene Kuchichu, Representative Leticia M. Cruz, Representative Royce Palomo Camacho, Representative Ariane Sagan, Representative Valerie Leones, Representative Anthony Kinga, and um, I'm here. Representative Mark Anthony Aquino, Representative Ramon Salas, Representative Lurica Cruz, Representative Erica Garcia, Representative Christine Lazama, Representative Lori Tumane, Representative Ryan Brazil, Representative Holly Izaki, and Representative Tasha Tori. First up for our agenda is the selection of committee chairs. Um, our first committee is the Committee on Roles in Regional Development. Representative Kinga. Okay, there is a nomination for represent Representative Kumatautu. Is there a motion to close the floor? Um, Representative Gumatauta. Okay. All those in favor of Representative Gumatauta to be the chair on rules and, and regional development, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Okay. It is voted unanimously that our chair for committee on rules is Representative Gumatauta. Okay, next committee is the Committee on uh, General Education. Is there a uh, nomination on the floor? Oh, General, um, I stand corrected. General Education and Labor. Uh, sports, Youth, and Recreation. My example, thank you. She is, um, there's no mic on the floor for her. So if you can kindly move over, vice speaker. Um, go ahead, Madam, uh, Madam Vice Speaker. It is general education, labor, youth, recreation, and sports. Okay. So I do stand uh, corrected. It's the Committee on Education, Youth, Sports, and Recreation, and Labor. Is there a mo uh, nomination on the floor? Uh, youth Re uh, Legislative Secretary, Tamane. Representative Garcia is nominated. Is there a motion to close the floor? Mr. Speaker, I motion to close the floor for any more nominations for the chair. Okay, it is moved that we close the floor. Is there a second? Youth Representative Sagan seconds the motion. All those in favor of Youth represent uh, Vice Speaker, I'm sorry, Garcia to be the chair on the Committee on General Education, Labor, Youth, Sports, and Recreation. Please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Okay, it is voted unanimously, unanimously that uh, our Vice Speaker Garcia will be the Chair and Committee on General Education, Labor, Sports, Recreation, and on Youth. Next.
Next, we have the Committee on Finance and Taxation. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Um, there is no Finance and Taxation Committee. Uh, the committee next would be the Committee on Housing Affairs and General Welfare. Is there a um, nomination on the floor? Represented um, Chair and Committee on Rules, Kim Tatsuo. Speaker, would I uh, nominate Representative Rules for that position? Uh, Eureka Cruz has been nominated for the Chair. Is there a motion to close the floor? Youth Representative Park. Is there a second to the nomination uh, to the motion? Youth Representative Zama. Second. Okay. It has been moved and second. All those in favor of you, Rep Representative Cruz, to be the chair on housing affairs and general welfare, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say <laughs> please say nay. Okay, it is voted unanimously that Ms. Uh, Eureka Cruz will be the um, chair on housing and general welfare. Okay, next committee will be the Committee on Decolonization, Federal Foreign Affairs and Civilian Matters, and Taxation. Um, is there a nomination on the floor? Youth Representative Kingley. Mr. Speaker, can I um, make a motion to table that specific spot until... Um, Session. Next session. Okay, there is a motion to table that committee onto our next session. Is there a second? Uh, Youth Representative Kumatata. Speaker, I second that motion. Okay, all those on the f motion, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Motion carries. Uh, next is the Committee on Administration, General Government Operations. Is there a nomination on the floor? Youth Representative Cruz. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I, I nominate Anthony Kinga. Okay, there is a nomination for Representative Kinga. Is there a second? I mean, is there a motion to close the floor? Youth Representative Sagan. Mr. Speaker, I motion to close the floor. I your nomination. Okay, is there a second? Youth Representative <clears throat> Zama. Mr. Speaker, I second that. Okay, it has been moved and second that we close the floor. All those in favor of Youth Representative Kenga to be the chair in the Committee on Administration and General Government Operations, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Okay, it's voted unanimously that uh, Representative King will be the chair on administration and general government operations. <laughs> Next um, is the Committee on Judiciary, Public Safety, and Consumer Protection. Is there a motion on the floor? Uh, Youth Representative Cruz. Youth Speaker, I nominate Youth Representative Lori for this committee. Okay, there's a nomination. Is there a motion to close? Youth Representative Usama. Mr. Speaker, I motion to close the nomination. Is there a second to the motion? Youth Representative Camacho. Mr. Speaker, I second that motion. Okay, it's been moved and second. All those in favor of Youth Representative Tamane to be the chair of Judiciary, Public Safety, and Consumer Protection, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. It is voted unanimously that uh, our Legislative Secretary be the Chair on Judiciary, Public Safety, and Consumer Protection. Next committee is the Committee on Cultural Matters, the Arts and Humanities of Chamorro Language, and Finance. Is there a motion? I mean, is there a nomination? Youth Representative Izaki. Mr. Speaker, I make I not, I nominate Denise Washington to be the chair of this committee. Okay, there 
deserves a nomination for Youth Representative Camacho to be the chair of the committee. Is there a motion to close the floor? Youth Representative Cruz? Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Is there a There's a motion. Is there a second to the motion? Youth Representative Clark. I second that motion. Okay, it's been moved and second that we close the floor. All those in favor of uh, Youth Representative Royce Camacho to be the chair of Committee of Cultural Matters, Arts and Humanities, Tomorrow Language and Finance, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. It is voted unanimously that Royce Camacho will be the chair for cultural matters, arts, humanities, of Chamorro language, and finance. Uh, next uh, committee should be the Committee on Senior Citizens and Public Health. Is there a nomination on the floor? Youth Representative Lazama. Mr. Speaker, I nominate Representative the nominations or a uh, motion to close the floor. Youth Representative Kimitalto. Speaker, I to close that. Okay, is there a second to the motion? Okay, Youth Representative, um, I'm sorry, Aquino. Mr. Speaker, I second that motion. Okay, it's been moved and second. All those in favor of Youth Representative Park to be the chair and committee on the senior citizens and public health, please say aye. All those opposed, please say nay. It is voted unanimously that the chair for the Committee on Senior Citizens and Public Health be Youth Representative Park. Next committee is the Committee on Ethics and Standards. Is there a nomination on the floor? Youth Representative Cruz. Okay, we have a nomination. Is there a motion to close the floor for nominations? Youth Representative Cruz. Um, Mr. Speaker, I close the nomination. Okay, it's been moved. Is there a second? Youth Representative uh, Peters. I second that motion. Okay, it's been moved and second. All those in favor of Youth Representative Lizama to be the chair of the Committee on Ethics and Standards, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Is there a objection by Youth Representative Kanga? No. Okay. Um, so it is voted unanimously that the Chair for Ethics and Standard be Christine Lozama. Okay. <laughs> Next committee, our final committee is the Committee of Communication and Public Relation. Um, Youth Representative Gimitalto. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I am Representative Okay. Is there, um, yes, Youth Representative Kenna? Mr. Speaker, I motion to close the nominations for the Committee on Communications. Okay, there's a motion on the floor. Is there a second to the motion? Youth Representative Cruz. It's been moved and second. All those in favor of Youth Representative Leticia to be the Chair and Committee on Communications and Public Relations, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. It is voted unanimously that the Chair and Committee on Communications and Public Relations will be Leticia Cruz. That is it for our committee, um, part of our agenda. Uh, the next part, we're going to go to the first readings of Bill number six, two, uh, Bill six, one, two, three. And I will step down and will the vice speaker take the chair?
Okay, I call on Representative Anthony Tenga to introduce Bill Number One. There's an objection. stand corrected. I'd, I'd then like to call Representative Jesse Kengo to introduce Bill Number 6. Okay. okay. Um, my bill is an act to designate mayors and vice mayors of the 19 min municipalities Guam as peace officers pursuant to subsection 40112, Chapter 40, Title 5, Bell Code, um, annotated, and assume such powers and duties in accordance with Subsection B, Chapter 3, Title 16, Bell Code, uh, annotated. Be it enacted by the people of Guam, Section 1, Legislative Findings and Intent, the um, 26th Guam Youth Congress is cognizant, uh, sorry, that sorry, Madam Speaker, uh, basically my bill would be to allow the mayors the power after a certain time period to be in control of the abandoned cars in their village, and basically it would give them the authority to do whatever they would like since it is in their municipality. Thank you. Okay, thank you. A motion to move that bill to a second reading file. Um, Representative Gumatata. Madam Speaker, I move to move that bill to a second reading file. Second to that motion. The bill number six is now moved to a second reading file. I now call on um, Representative Anthony Kanga to introduce bill number one. Good afternoon, Madam Speaker and my fellow youth representatives. My bill is an act to provide for voluntary participation of private schools in the program for providing a confidential report of the student's body mass index, or BMI, and written information to parents or legal guardians of students who have a body mass index above the normal range. Be enacted by the people of Guam, the 26th Guam Youth Congress finds the obesity is a major health problem on Guam. The 26th Guam Youth Congress further finds that childhood obesity is a growing health concern on Guam. The Surgeon General of the United States has determined that overweight and obesity in children and adolescents have tripled in the last two decades. Guam leads the nation in heart disease and obesity-related alignments, such as diabetes. It impacts not only health, but also financial expenses on treating these illnesses. Steps need to be taken now to improve the health of our future generation, as well as reduce future health costs for the coming generation. Health professionals often use a body mass index, BMI, growth chart to help them assess whether a child or adolescent is overweight. For the reason the Guam public school system is mandated by Section 3207, Article 2, Division 2, Title 17 of the Guam Code annotated to implement the body mass index in public schools and provide a confidential report to the students, parents, or legal guardians because all of Guam's children are of paramount importance to the community. The 26th Guam Youth Congress finds that this program should be extended to the private schools as well. Section 2. BMI information for students in private, primary, and secondary schools. As part of its local wellness program, the Guam Public School System shall assist all private and secondary schools in developing programs to provide body mass index information for the, for the students in their schools. The participation of the private schools shall be voluntary. Participating schools shall provide parents or legal guardians periodic reports of their child's body mass index which shall be computed and distributed to the parents or legal guardians in such a manner that respects the student's privacy. 
The computation of the BMI must be done properly in a uniform standard, such as the University of California Berkeley's guidelines for collecting heights and weights on children and adolescents in school settings. The report must also include an explanation that body mass index is only a screening tool, not an evaluative tool for diagnosing a person as overweight. An explanation of the connection between a body mass index that is above normal range and obesity, diabetes, and other health problems together with references to the local community programs for nutrition and physical activity resources. And the suggestion that the parents seek a primary care provider's evaluation. For purposes of this section, the body mass index, or BMI, is a calculation that uses a child's height, age, and weight to estimate how much body fat he or she compared to population reference standards. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you, Ms. Kwame Congress. A motion to move the bill to second reading file. Representative Tango. I'm sorry, Representative Salvin. Ms. Speaker, I motion to move the stuff to second reading file. The second version. Representative Bonitanto. Madam Speaker, I second that motion. Okay, the bill is now moved to second reading file. Now I call on Representative Cruz to introduce bill number three. Subsection to Section 15311 of Public 24 to 21 to replace moratorium on scuba activities in the Tumon Bay and Petey Marie preserves until rules and regulations are established to protect the marine resources of Guam. My bill is basically they're going to stop fishing in Tumon. Motion to move the bill to second reading file. Okay, um, Representative Lazama. I motion to move the bill to second reading file. A second motion. Representative Anthony Tango. Madam Speaker, I second that motion. Okay, bill number three is now moved to second reading file. I now call on Representative Lazama to introduce bill number two. To authorize popu popular confirmation of the 1996 initiative reducing the Guam legislature from 21 to 13 members. Be it enacted by the people of Guam, section 1, with the recent introduction of a proposal to reduce legislative, legislative member activity from full time to part time, the present form compos composition and scope of power of the legislative branch has been called into question. The last significant significant legislative reform was directed by the public through an initiative in 1996. When the body's composition was reduced from a maximum of 21 members as authorized in subsection 142B of the Organic Act to 15 members codified as 3GC subsection 6101. Therefore, the Guam Youth Congress calls for such questions to be put to citizens through a placement on, through placement on a on the ballot in the 2006 ge general election, section two, the following questions shall appear on the 2006 general election ballot. To poll citizen prefer preference as to the number, or as to the number of the legislative member, member with voting squares provided for options yes and no. How the Guam le legislature consists of 21 members as of January 2009, Section 3. If the question put to voters as provided in Section 2 of this Act is duly approved by a majority of voters who indicate either yes or no on their ballot, 3GCA subsection 6101 shall be duly amended and considered effective in the 30th Guam Legislature commencing in January 2009. Okay, thank you. Um, a motion to move the bill to a second reading file. Representative Bonitanto. Madam Speaker, I motion to move that bill to second reading file. A second motion, Representative Jesse Tango. 
Madam Speaker, I second the motion and correction. I am Anthony, Representative Anthony. Kang. I'm sorry, but Representative Anthony Kanga raised his hand, and I believe I did call the right person. I doubt it, Madam Speaker. Okay. Um, the bill is okay. Your motion, Representative Kanga. Motion to move bill number six into third reading file. Okay. Um, bill number two is now in the second reading file. Okay. Um, the floor is now open for motions. Okay. Representative Kango? Uh, Madam Speaker, um, I ask to move bill number six to third reading file. Reading file. Okay. Um, I object. Okay. I'd like to take a roll. I'd like to take a. Okay. Those who are in favor of moving bill number six to third reading file, please say aye. Those who object, please say nay. Nay. Okay. I'd like to take a hand count. All those who say aye, please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. All those who say nay. One, two, three. Okay, it, bill number six will be moved to the third reading file with a vote of six to three. Oh, raise your hand. Okay, a recount. All those who say aye, please raise your hands high. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There's five. Okay, those who said nay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. Okay. I believe okay, the count the count changed. It will not be moved to third reading file with a vote to nine from the vote of nine to three. Madam okay. Speaker. Yes. Um, may I question uh, bill number six? Bill number six. Okay, we are now in the second reading file. Okay. Bill number six. I have a question. Um, exactly, how does this work with the current situation in the villages of Baragona and Zotnia? Does this make the mayors able to move those stuff physically and let's say sell them for their own profit? The author of the bill, please answer. Um, the bill was um, written to give mayors the power to deal with abandoned cars. And yes, since it was given to the mayors, if sold, which they are allowed to, will go to the mayor's um, council, not to the mayor's pocket. Okay, you just said abandoned cars. Is that the only content at which they're allowed to collect and sell? Abandoned cars can be sold for scrap parts, my question was, is it just abandoned cars, or can you take washers, dryers, and couches as My well? bill was designated for abandoned cars, but if you wanted to make an amendment to the bill, then you'd be more than willing to go ahead. Okay, so then I would like to make an amendment to any scrap metal and any unnecessary things besides what is there already. Is that how you say it? Any trash, basically. Um, scrap metal, or couches, old and used appliances, old and used furniture. Can we amend that? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, please um, specify where you would like to amend. Put, put in that amendment. Please say the section number and line number. Okay. Uh, Madam Speaker, I do not have a copy of Representative... Bill number six. Thank there you. Go. I 
let's say section one. Section one, line, line three. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Madam Speaker. And also line seven and eight. Seven paragraph eight. two, to be spent. Or no, paragraph six. I would like to bill was meant for mayors to have the power to deal with um, trash in their village. Uh, I don't know any other power to give the mayors, but uh, basically my bill was started out to be mainly uh, to deal with trash in their village so, you know, it can help make their village be promoted in a clean way because it's a problem with the mayor's having to do with uh, scrap cars on the road. It's an eyesore. So you're asking to pertain that power to your suggestion? Any more debate on this bill? Okay, go ahead. Um, Youth Representative Kenya, I just wanted to know what are some examples in which, or because you your bill states that the mayors would take care of the abandoned cars and the trash metal scraps, and what are what are some examples in which they would take care? Besides selling it, like what are other examples that would really help? Um, no, it's just the mayor's responsibility to take care of the product. In other words, to move it from the certain area, like um, they have the power to go inside someone's property, take that car that they've been warned about that, you know, it's not allowed to be there, it is illegal dumping. So we're giving the mayors the chance to take it from there and then it's up to the mayor's discretion what to do with the objects. Does that answer your question? Oh, it's up to their discretion, whatever they would like to do with the scrap metal. It's in our, uh, it's in the bill. They can reuse parts, they can recycle it. It's up to them what they would like to do with their parts. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, I now call a five minute recess. Um, please make a motion. I oh, oh, wait, I now call a five minute recess to resume. Okay, and now, like, okay.
Okay. Hold on, Representative Kenga. Madam Speaker, I make a motion to recess this meeting until January 27, 2007. At 2 p.m. Okay, a second motion. Okay. Um, oops, sorry. Representative Park? I second that motion. Okay. All in favor, please raise your hand. I mean, please raise your hands. This is a vote of eight to five. Okay, so more motion carries and we will adjourn on January 27 at two o'clock p.m. Okay, I'm sorry, we will recess until January 27 at two o'clock p.m.